we're still seeing people come in with the coronavirus. We're still seeing people requiring ICU level care and hospitalizations. The sheer number of patients we've had to take care of at the end of life has been overwhelming and surreal to say the least. In terms of mental health, this has definitely taken a toll on our nurses, our fellow physicians, all of our healthcare staff, including our trainees. And so we've had to be very thoughtful about creating programs to attend to everyone's mental health needs. Some of those include virtual uh, first aid groups, um, psychological first aid groups, as well as doing the things such as the daily check-ins with our teams. Coronavirus is not going away anytime soon. If nothing else, we have to learn the, the strategies of how to keep coming back every day to work and how to live through that. You need to be able to talk about how you're feeling and to reach out to someone. And don't just keep saying, I'm going to work today, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Over time, we all are vulnerable and we'll start to break down no matter how good we are. I think for our frontline responders, the important thing is that self-care becomes a part of their daily routines and it's embraced by the medical and behavioral health communities, that it becomes part of your job. Make it a priority, just like wearing a mask is a priority to stay safe. Taking care of your emotional and mental needs should be a priority too.